Hi, I'm Domenica from Sunday Slays Cosplay, and today I'm going to show you how I made all of the arm armor for my Warhammer 40k Sister of Battle. So, get your materials ready, and let's get crafting. I started by making a paper template of my fan brace. These van braces have no flare at the wrist or anything, so it's easy enough to eyeball it, then wrap it around my arm to get the correct angles on the sides. Cut that out and cut curves into the top so my elbow has a place to bend. I cut it too small, so I added some more paper with some tape. I drew on the details how they should be. I don't have any tips for this. I've always just been able to look at things and draw them, so, uh, sorry. My pattern is super ugly, but we're about to fix that. I take my pattern, scan it in, and trace all these details in Adobe Illustrator. The final result looks like this, and I cut it out on my Cricut machine with 2mm foam and the knife blade. Using the Cricut cutout, I cut out the base out of 6mm foam and glued the details on. I messed up. I've done this before and I will never learn. I didn't add any seam allowance to the edge of my pattern. So with the thickness of the foam, it doesn't fit and it's way too tight. But we're gonna fix this and not waste any time or foam. We're gonna add a spacer to the forearm and make it look like it's semi on purpose. I added two millimeter foam buckles and googly eyes for the details and dremeled the edges of the two millimeter foam so it looks a little nicer and not like a straight Cricut cut. On to the elbow pieces. The basic shape is symmetrical, front and back, top and bottom, so I start with two circles. I draw the basic shape and fold it over and cut it out to make each side symmetrical and then check the size. I then cut that pattern in half and cut that out out of six millimeter foam. The center line I cut at a 45 degree angle so it'll pucker at the center seam where they're glued together. I'm using my heat gun to heat up the foam to hold that pucker shape.
of two millimeter foam. Thought that would be much too thin, so I copied that over to six millimeter foam and used the two millimeter foam for added layers. Then I put on some googly eyes and a tiny little 3D printed fleur de -lis. My painting process is the same for all my pieces. I base coat them in a medium color spray paint, then airbrush black into all the crevices, and then highlight the high points last. Unfortunately on these, I base coated them the wrong paint color, so I had to begin again. That's why it suddenly gets darker here. This base coat is black metallic and it's the same process. Base coat to your medium, then airbrush black into all the crevices, then go back and brighten all the highlights in raised areas with a nice bright silver. You don't need an airbrush to do this, but airbrushes are pretty cheap and easy to use, and they make your stuff look so much better. I highly recommend getting an airbrush. And this is how everything looks once it's all painted up and finished. This is the finished handpiece. I added on a piece of elastic. It just slips over my glove. The van brace slips right over my forearm before I put my gloves on, of course. And the counter is attached with some glue. It used to be just attached with pressure, but it kept falling off, so I ended up just gluing it on. And that's it for the arms. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. For more cosplay photos, follow me on Instagram, Sunday Slays Cosplay. And if you'd like to donate and support my work, click the Ko-Fi link in the description. And thank you for watching.